Hey, this is Scott Wilkerson. In this screencast, I'm going to show you how to write a query in Google Docs. Um, so I have a form that I sent out to students. They filled it out. I have their first and last name. They selected a teacher, and then they answered questions. So what I want to do with this query is, you see I have um, students from different classes who took this test. So I have down here at the bottom a tab for each teacher. And I want to use a query to uh, put each student's each teacher's students scores onto their own tab so a query let's say for Miss McKee can pull out all of Miss McKee's students that way I don't have to look through the entire school or the entire grade level of answers so I'm gonna write the query out first and then I'll explain to you what each par each part of the query means so all formulas start with equals so we type equals query and it already it recognizes what I'm doing so I just hit tab to finish it out and then you see it gives you what each part of the query is for. So query the data. So I'm querying this data on this tab. And if I click on this, uh, this gray square in the top left hand corner, it'll select the entire spreadsheet. So that's the data that I'm querying. I put a comma and now I tell it what I want to do. So I'm going to say select A, B, C, D, E, and F where C equals McKee. Close my quotes and my parentheses. When I hit enter, you see it's given me all the information I just asked for for all the students in Miss McKee's class. So if you look at the query, again I'm querying this student submissions tab. This is where all my answers are. So then select that just you're what you're doing is you're saying give me column A, column B, column C, D, E, and F, and you can put as many columns in here as you'd like. So you say, these are the columns I want, where C, and I chose C because on the student submissions tab, C is the, the list of teachers. So where C equals McKee, and McKee, I chose that because that is the teacher's name, and you have to type it just as it appears on this column. So the easiest thing is actually to just copy and paste into the query, so that way you know it matches exactly. Um, and any time you have words, uh, especially with a space, you have to put the words inside of a single quote. So you have to have a single quote on each side of the word. And then in the query over here, where I'm telling it what I want to happen, you see that's inside of double quotes. So I've got a double quote on the beginning and a double quote on the end. And then I have to close my parentheses for the formula. So you see it's only selecting through column F. But on the student submissions tab, it goes all the way to column S. So I can just edit my query to add those additional columns. J. So now it includes all of those columns where C equals McKee. So now I have a, a tab down here for Miss McKee. So I can write the same query on a different tab or the easiest thing is actually to just duplicate this tab now it has the exact same query I just want to change it to a different teacher's name so I go back to my student submissions tab so McDuffie is another teacher so I'm just going to copy McDuffie's name to this other tab and where it did say McKee I'm just going to replace that with McDuffie copy and paste I hit enter and now these are all of Miss McDuffie's students. So I've changed the name of this tab. And I just keep doing that for each teacher. So this is using a query in a Google spreadsheet. I hope this helps. Thank you.